confidence that you know you were able to you know handle a team that you know, throws for a lot of yards? You know, what does that kind of mean for your defense and the secondary in particular? Uh, you know that that gives us a lot of confidence going forward. You know we can do that week in and week out, and we have to show that week in and week out. And it starts through practice. And uh, last week we had a we had a great week of practice. We brought the energy. We uh, we were playing with technique. You know form tackling, and it showed during the game. What does a win in general in this league do for you guys? I mean every win is big. You know we got to treat it like that, and it is like that because you never know in this conference. You know. I mean, it's a tough conference to play in, and like the margin for error is, is pretty tiny. You kind of touched on it in your first answer, but part of the problem this year that coaches repeated over and over is the guys making mistakes, not always the same person. You know. Do you feel like there were a lot less mental mistakes made on Saturday? There definitely were a lot less mental mistakes. I mean, you know, it's a process like going through the season, you know, we're maturing as we go. and. Uh, through practice, we've limited those mistakes and it's gotten better and better each week. Was that maybe the best overall game, complete game, so to speak, that you guys have played? Defense, yes, I believe so. I mean, we still made some mistakes and they're fixable. But yeah, I think that was the best game we've played all season. How much of a difference do you think it made for the secondary that you were able, especially in the first half, to get pretty consistent pressure? Oh, yeah. I mean, Pass rush, or I mean, pass defense is, is an 11 man job. So the pass rush is, is obvious, it's a huge help, you know, but covering down, we still have to do our job. We can't just let people run around. What have been the biggest changes for the secondary in the last uh, two or three games? You guys really helped, you know, helped teams down, I think, you know, under 150 yards passing or something like that. It was almost twice that beforehand, you know. Mm -hmm. What have been some of the biggest changes? I mean, it's with those MAs, like earlier in the season, we had a lot of, a lot of MAs. And I mean, we've cut those down, and you can see see the results from it. When Crispin went down, you were called upon to kind of jump in there. What was your mindset going in? And having played a lot of positions on the defense, is mm -hmm. that easier for you, kind of knowing the whole system? I mean, yeah, it's, all, it's always going to be easier if, if I'm coming from different positions. But I mean, my goal was to just win. <clears throat> I mean, I know, I know the job I had to do, and I stepped up, and I did it. How much has your role changed this year, being one of the veterans back there with the, you know, a lot of young players? Mm -hmm. um, and as far as communicating and making sure you guys are in the right spots, how difficult can it be when you know, the goals are flying, so to speak? I mean, last week they were they were a tempo team, so I mean, getting them getting them lined up it was pretty tough. I mean, you're trying to yell as they're snapping the ball, you know, who's in the fit, who's out of the fit. Um, but I mean, it's 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 definitely like come a long come a long way. I mean, you're facing a team now that's maybe going against the norm where they're probably a, a run team first and, and pass. So mm -hmm. Does that change anything? It doesn't change anything for us. I mean, we still have to come out and practice the way we've been practicing and take it up another level. And I believe we can do that. So I mentioned you've done a little bit of everything in that secondary throughout your career and you've played a lot of nickel and then this year been some more safety with some of the injuries mm -hmm. that have come up. So what are the differences playing back there at safety than maybe being in the nickel or outside? I mean, safety, you can you can see everything. I mean, you can kind of control the coverages you're playing, you know, you're making the checks. I mean, as far as nickel, you're just lining up, playing. You're Sometimes you're in the fit. Most of the time, you're going to be covering. And so, you know, safety, I mean, it's a little bit of everything, and I kind of like that. I mean, second straight game at home, you know, then really the, the, the strength of the, the schedule kind of comes forward. So how important is it to get some momentum? Pick it up from last week and then, and then take care of business this week. And see I think I think that's the most important thing, you know. I mean, coming off a good week of practice, as I've said, you know, picking up that practice momentum. I mean, it's going to be huge, and the strength of the schedule is coming up, and I think we'll have to respond to it. DJ made that interception and ran it back. What was that like for the defense? I feel like that was probably a moment of just validation or satisfaction. To yeah. Finally yeah, we needed that, and we knew it was, it was about time for one to happen. You know, we've been working so hard in practice, and just finally paid off. What do you see with uh, Indiana State's offense? What kind of things do they do well, or some of the challenges they're presenting? Mm, uh, they like to run the ball. Uh, they have some pretty fast receivers. We're gonna have to cover down, and we're gonna have to come up and make tackles.